Hey all, Ted here from Grand Lake, New Brunswick, Canada, in the Great White North. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Episode of uh, Outdoors of the Morgans coming up really fast. Enjoy this uh, new video and uh, thank you. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I just got home from work literally three minutes ago, kind of late today, but each day I like to get at least a little something done around here. Uh, all day long at my real job, I pretty much drive around in a pickup truck for a meeting here, maybe drive an hour and a half, a meeting over there, and just a lot of time on the road, and I'm just kind of chomping at the bit to actually do something. So when I get home, I always try to find something to do. Now today it rained all day long, it's pretty wet and sloppy out there, but I figured I'll cut a little bit of firewood. Uh, I've got a couple maple logs laying out here right behind the house, so I'll take the ranger out, cut them up. Uh, Melissa cleaned up all the branches last night. If you didn't see that video, she did a fantastic job with the uh, Wallenstein chipper. I'll put that video up above if you want to check that out. But yeah, it's kind of sloppy out, but I figure, you know what, I got about a half hour, 45 minutes. I'm going to go cut a little bit of wood, and believe it or not, look what I grabbed. This battery power saw, steel, MSA 220C. I'm pretty fond of this little saw, and it is perfect for situations like this, in my opinion. You know, I'm not going to be going out there cutting wood for two or three hours or anything like that. I'm going to be cutting for 15, 20 minutes, get a load in the Ranger, and go split it. But for that type of thing, this little saw really shines. Uh, the 261 has kind of turned into my primary firewood saw, but like tonight, I got a full charge in the battery. Bar oil is filled up in this saw, it's ready to go. I'm gonna go out, whack a load of wood up real quick, go split it all before dark. All right, it is exactly 6.41. I don't know if you can see that or not. It gets dark, let's see, sunset I think this evening is 7.22, so we better get busy.
I'm telling you, this little thing cuts. It really does. I think we got almost the load cut already. We'll load this up and see, then head down to the splitter before it gets dark. Not a bad load. So uh, we could fit a little bit more in there, but it's a pretty good load and it's getting dark. Battery's still at uh, half charge. I hope you can see that. That's pretty good.
All right, it is 721. I don't know if you can see that. So that's exactly 40 minutes, right? Yeah, I started at 641. That's heading out in the woods and got a, just about a full load in the Ranger. Now, granted, it was close to the house. I didn't have to go real far, but also had some time, you know, setting up cameras and moving them around. So probably 30, 35 minutes. And that load in the Ranger equals about one sixth of a cord. Yeah, one sixth of a cord. So half of a face cord is what we call that around here. So that's pretty good. But that little saw, I'm telling you, uh, I needed some convincing. Never would have considered a battery powered saw for years until I got to try some. And I'm telling you what, it's the real deal. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I had 45 minutes or something before dark. Grab the saw, go. Got a little bit of wood cut, a little bit of wood split. Make sure I really enjoy that. Like I said at the beginning of this video, most of my days at work, I spend one day a week in the office, sometimes two, but most of it's just driving to a meeting here, hour and a half over this way. I spend a lot of time on the road and I get tired of being in that truck. So when I come home, it's a good way for me to kind of wind down, relax a little bit, collect my thoughts. I don't know. I just find cutting firewood very relaxing to me. Some people don't see it that way. But most of you guys, I think that watch this channel enjoy it just as much as I do. But uh, it is it's one of my favorite things to do. And it just makes you feel good getting something accomplished. You know what I mean? But anyway, what else did I want to mention? Oh, keep sending in the uh, intros and the outros to the videos. We really appreciate that. We're going to keep doing that. Uh, I think that's about it. If this is the first time visiting our channel, I'll tell you briefly what we're about. As you can see, we like firewood. We have a sawmill, tractors, chainsaws, rural living. Uh, just pretty much property maintenance and we live in Western Pennsylvania so if you're into those kind of things hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification and you'll get uh, and you'll get notified when we upload but I think that's about it so like I always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks I'm sailor on the seas of fate right here in central Kentucky near Fort Knox and this has been another episode of outdoors with the mortgage please like click share and subscribe and if you wish, leave a comment down below. And don't forget, Buckingstock 2020.